women that serve our country. Again, because I think it's amazing. And I don't, I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you do it. I mean, I'm, I'm driving down the road thinking that people are going to drill me from every, every, every way I go, Matt, everywhere I look, I think the car's going to hit me. It's crazy. Right. I found myself today, Matt, I got to tell you, you want to know something ridiculous? I was in the right-hand lane, thank God, but I found myself today going seven miles under the speed limit. Under the speed limit, Matt. I'm yeah. just driving down the road, and I look down, and it's 40 degrees. I'm going 33 miles an hour. 40 degrees, 40 miles an hour. I do what you mean. I do what you mean. Yeah, I'm going 33, man. I'm looking around like, what is wrong with you, dude? Now, I wasn't in the left-hand lane like some of you yard birds out there. But is that just crazy? Golly. Anyway, by the way, well, I'm being told I feel like that'll, that'll get better. Yeah. I feel like that'll get better one time. Well, yeah, I know. But let me ask you this. Do the do our great men and women that have it, does it get better for them? Well, for a lot of people, sadly, no. Because uh, it's, it's depending on how severe they are, I guess, and what kind of help you, you could get. Man. By the way, I'm being told 1,100, uh, over 1,100 of our Oklahoma National Guard are on their way to Africa for a year. Man, I'll tell you, that is, uh, that's some scary stuff, dude. That is some scary stuff, so. Anyway, um, thank you so much uh, for all the great people texted and messaged. Uh, appreciate it very much. Got a lot to get into today, Matt. A lot of things happening in the NBA. Doc Rivers fired today. You know, Matt Ravis, we talked about it with Monty Williams. I'm going to get into Monty Williams a lot more. Uh, if you haven't heard, Sh Shams came out with a really interesting deal today. And, um, but Doc Rivers, if I said to you, Matt Ravis, is Doc Rivers a, a great coach, a Next good up, coach, we got the Atlanta average coach, 404. a bad coach? This team's what only been in the league Doc for Rivers? three years, but their defense is so destructive, they've already made it into Division Two. Okay. The guy who anchors their defense is Kino Tolova. I think he's really, really good. I think the relationship is high. I think that uh, he's done a good down. job of you. The son of a bitch is head coach. How long has he been a head coach? Boston. Like was Boston his first gig? Or he was on the fave keeper safety. I don't even remember. I, I, all I know is that he's, he, I guarantee he's been coaching for every bit. He's well, been a head coach for 20 years, hasn't he? The game has changed, yeah. Yeah. I, I think so. That He's is, my age. He's, I think 15, we're exactly the same age. At least 15 years. Probably, I, I think more as a head coach. I have to go look. But he's done a good job of adjusting to the game and all that uh, tactically. But I just think there's sort of a – there's a lot of coaches like this. There's sort of a ceiling with him. And I know I know he won that ring in Boston. But uh, since then, you know, I think it's – that's well, it's you know, he, true. He has that amazing record where he's lost 3-1 leads, right? He's lost a bunch of 3-1 leads. And um, he – he had a 3-2 lead and was at home in this one. Now, here's the deal. I'm not stupid enough, okay? I mean, I'm, not, I'm stupid, but I'm not stupid enough to not realize that it's the players, but you can't get rid of the players. And frankly, you know, James Harden puked down his leg in both Game 6 and Game 7. NB played terrible, really, in yeah, Game pros. 7. Yeah, I guess that's... You know what's unbelievable? If they win one of those two games, he probably doesn't lose his job because they get to the Eastern Conference Finals. But I guess three years in a row now, they've had good records. They've been a team that people can deal with. Now, I've, ne I've never been high on them. I've never been high on them. I've always, been a I've always thought that Milwaukee and Boston are definitely better than them, and they're probably the solid three in the East. But... Um, yeah, they win one of these last two games. He probably keeps his job, man. Isn't that crazy? And that's kind of the margin, yeah. That's kind of the margin. I mean, I I brought, I brought up Budenholzer going back to the, uh, the was it the semis in the East where Durant hit that shot, his foot was yeah, on the line. Yeah, but tell, say that again. Talk well, about Budenholzer that. Budenholzer gets foot. fired if in that if in that series, which was that the semis? I'm trying to remember. That was I the think semis. it was the semis. That was the I was not surprised. We talked about it yesterday. Actually, I didn't, you and I, I don't think we, we mentioned it, but I, I, I did talk about it yesterday with Kale Gundy a little bit. And okay. This is just one of those things where we you, you shouldn't be surprised anymore. No, you're right. Well, that said, there's been a lot of guys fired this year. It feels like more than normal. You know, Matt, there's so much money involved. There's so much, I mean, there's only small windows, right? I mean, it, there, you don't you don't stay great. I mean, Golden State's amazing. Um but you can see they're going down now. But they're, 
there aren't a lot of dynasties anymore with salary caps and all this other stuff. So when you have a chance, I mean, they got the dag on MVP. They got two MVPs. Philadelphia had two MVPs on their team. And then a guy that I don't know how you feel about him, but I I love Maxi. Do you you like Maxi? He's a good player. I think he's really good. I think he's a really good scorer. I don't. I, I think he could work on some other parts of his game. You don't think he handles it real well? No, I think great ball handler is going to get in the spots. I just don't know. Like, does he make his teammates look a bunch better? Is he really good on defense? Probably not. No. He, he's not he a, he's not a number one, and he's probably not even a number two. Yeah. But and he's a little. He's probably a little small. Too. He is small. But I'll tell you what, dude. He can get it rolling. No, he can score for sure. I mean. Yeah. But that team, they're talented. I don't know. Look, I wasn't fired. I, was, I mean, I wasn't I wasn't fired up. I wasn't, you know, shocked about it. But I'm going to tell you that this is going to keep on happening. It's just the way it is. When you spend a bunch of money and you've got, like, the MVP and you got another MVP and you don't go any further than that, um, they're going to make moves. Now, is it going to make any difference? I doubt it. I don't, I, especially, I, is there going to be somebody else? Especially too, Jim. Um, no, I don't think. I think we're good, right? Yeah, Missoula, I'm wondering who. It, I mean, I I don't know. Is there? Any, I don't know if there's anybody yeah. else that can be fired. Malone's not getting fired, so yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it. Yeah. What about? Isn't uh, it crazy that though? If you're a Dallas Mavericks fan, don't you have to be sick watching all these coaches get fired and you still have Jason Kidd? I know it. What's going on with Cuban? What's wrong with him? And by the way, what about Billy Donovan? How is Billy Donovan keeping his job? Can you help me? My guess is money. My guess is money. That's not the most. Uh, it's a pretty frugal ownership group, I think. Wasn't he making? Didn't he get about five million though? I don't. I don't. I. I don't have his contract in front of me. But I, I guess, could have swore he that he's got a pretty good contract. I'm guessing he has a couple of years. They, they might have just read the contract. Maybe. Well, yeah, Doc Rivers will be contract okay. extension in November. Oh, did he really? What are they thinking? Why well, would they do it, that? It says to. It says he was to sign it. So. Yeah, he did sign. He signed one in the offseason. Yeah, multi-year contract extension. Wow. What are they thinking? Look, Billy Donovan knows the game of basketball, but he's not a he's not some great coach. That team's going they they they're going nowhere, Chicago. And and you know how I feel about uh Zach. I I think he's really good, but obviously he doesn't do all the things and DeRozan is a different kind of player and the big fella inside. I mean, they, they just, I don't know. The Vucevic trade didn't work out for him. No, at all. it did not. But anyway, Doc Rivers, um, he's made a bunch of money in his life. Uh, I'm sure that, what, someone else will probably give him another chance, wouldn't you think? Yeah, he'll, he'll get a head coaching job. By the way, I looked it up. He was coaching in Orlando before that. He went to that's, Boston gosh. from Orlando. What year was that? I think he started 99. Five years. Well, that's 24 know. years ago. So, he's been around a long time. Man. And he'll get paid yeah. to, to not go to work, which is, you know, that's, that's everybody's Two dream. years, right? Two yeah. years? Two years and left What's he making? Deal. He's making about $8 million a year? I, they, they, I, I think it was in that neighborhood. So they're going to write him a big check. That's nice. I just don't Milwaukee or somebody like that doesn't go hire Doc Rivers after that. Hey there, mm. Why? I hear you I, like I told you earlier, I think he's got a ceiling. I mean, I don't think you, you think he's really what's going to get Milwaukee over the hump. No, I, I think don't. Budenholzer is, is a play franchise. Mm -mm -mm. You look short for a football player. Oh, don't play me. I've got all you ever need. I'm sure you do, honey. But can you keep up? You'll need to prove it first. Prove it. What are we talking about here? Show me what you've got on Sunday. Play hard on that field, and you can play hard on mine. I like a man who can dish it out. You better be ready. <laughs> it's gonna get rough. Mm, I'm looking forward to it. Or some of my children in a car like that, Matt. I just, I don't know if I'd be able to go on, you know? I'm with you. I know everybody says you do go on, but... I mean, Next and, up, and he's just the, the greatest man you'll ever, this team's ever only been be around. For three I, years, I know people that know him personally. So I know a lot about him. The so two. I hated to see him fired, the but I did say yesterday that I understood him.
I just, I mean, the Ishbia guy is a new owner, and, you know, they, they, they didn't go as far as a lot of people thought they would after going and making that big move. When he hits you, now, you brought it up, and you're right on the money. When you bring in Durant, you make moves like that, you lose your, you lose your depth, right, Matt? You lose your depth. Yes. And the, one of the biggest keys, and I'll, we can talk about this, but I think this series coming up right now between the Lakers and the, and, and the Nuggets, I think the key is going to be players three through eight, Matt. Not one and two, not the big boys. I, I think it's going to be three through eight. The the, the Porters and the Aaron uh, um, Aaron uh, Gordons and the uh, uh, the Vanderbelts and the, you know the Austin Reeves. I think those are the dudes that are going to be key to this series. We'll talk about that at another time. So they messed their depth. Up. Good evening, but everyone. But now we're hearing from Shams, who I think you agree, him and Woads are right on top of everything. Um, that this had to do with Durant and Booker. That Durant and Booker basically didn't want Monty Williams back. And I got to tell you something, Matt. I've stuck up for, for, for Kevin Durant in the past, and rightfully so. I think people around here were absurd the way they treated him, but that's fine. But I'll tell you something, Matt. He looks ridiculous. I mean, let's think about this. He left to go to Golden State, and then after two championships, the word was he didn't like Steve Kerr anymore. He got the heck out of there. He helped hire Steve Nash and then helped fire him. Then the Atkinson guy who Gold State couldn't wait to bring him in as a, an assistant. I think a lot of people think he's a good coach. He gets rid of him. Then Jock Vaughn, problems with Jock Vaughn. Now he goes out there to, uh, uh, to uh, uh, Phoenix. He helps get rid of this coach. I mean, wh this, he's one of the biggest prima donnas I've ever seen, Matt. What's wrong with this guy? Coach Killer, right? I mean, that's... Um, it, well, he's, you know what he's killing, Matt? He's killing any type of legacy that he had at all. You think so? I do, yes. I mean, I'm not talking about his ability to play basketball. I'm talking about what people... Okay, there's a bunch of people that can't stand for what he did to Golden State left. Okay, fine. But in every team that he's been at, Matt, he's averaged over 25 points a game. Thunder, Golden State, uh, Brooklyn... And Phoenix, every team, he's averaged over 25 points a game. He's one of the greatest scorers that have ever been. He can play defense, he can pass, he can rebound, he can do it all, okay? But his legacy, in my opinion, is falling apart. I really believe that. I think it's falling apart. Even for a guy like me that thought, okay, I don't like the way he went to Golden State, but I totally understand it. And, you know, I've had this argument with 100,000 people about whether, you know, what was Westbrook and blah, 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 blah. I don't care. I didn't like the way he left. But he went there, won two championships, and was it. But ever since then, his post-Golden State time, and I, by the way, I heard Rick Buecher say this, too, so I'm kind of piggybacking off of him. His post-Golden State time has not been good, Matt. It has not been good. You Can, can anybody argue that? No. 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 So I, 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 he better, he better, he better shut the blank up about coaching. You know, what's interesting to me is we all say, well, coaching is not the reason why teams win and lose. Maybe a little bit, but it's not the main reason. But obviously for Kevin Durant, whenever things don't go well, he blames the coach. Does he ever blame himself? No, I, I, how about I, I, Kevin, how about Kevin Durant coming out and going, I stunk it up in game seven. It's, I mean, game six. It's embarrassing the way I played. I have to play better. Right? How about that, Matt? Can he do that? I would be, I'd be surprised if he were that frank and accountable. No. No, I don't think he's a, he's a, I'm telling you, he, he's a dog, man. This, this is ridiculous to me. It's absolutely ridiculous. And I'll tell you what, Booker, dude, do not get sucked into this. If I, I if I was on Phoenix Radio right now, I'd be telling him, Booker, listen, dude, do not get sucked in. Do not become Kevin Durant, okay? You don't want to be him. You might want to play like him, but you don't want to be him. And it sounds as if Booker was involved in this. I think it's disgusting. One last thing about that, Matt. I guess there's word now that there's a chance that Harden could come out to, uh, to uh, Phoenix. And I'll tell you this, Matt. When are these Yardbird... NBA player is going to realize that things don't work. That didn't work in Brooklyn. 
All these players are, oh, I want this guy. Give me him. Give me, oh, yeah, he's a friend of mine. I want to play with him. It doesn't work, Matt. When are they going to realize it? I hope that this Ishbia guy, for the sake of all my good friends and people that I know in Phoenix, I hope Ishbia goes, no, we're not bringing in Harden. We got enough. We need to We need to trade Aiton somehow and fool somebody to for them to take it and get some depth. Don't you think that's what they have to do, Matt? I would think so. If you bring in Harden, it's going to severely jeopardize things. Now, that's an upgrade over Chris Paul, I think, at that position right now, just based on age and where he's right. at. But that, no, I think that would be a that, that, that'd be a bad move. We've seen this movie before. Yeah. How come they don't realize that? Do they forget? Booker and Durant are going to make about $84 million. That leaves about $85 million for everybody else. Wow. And then that doesn't, you know, that doesn't even mention Aiton. Or Chris what's Paul. Eight, eight is making what? Eight making about thirty million, isn't he? Twenty-five, thirty. He got that big contract. The only other guys on the on the books are Shaman and Campaign. So, Aiton is not on the books. No, I mentioned him. He's on the books. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. And, 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 yeah is, what's he making? About twenty-five, thirty. So that's a, over a hundred million for three players. Chris Paul's a free agent, isn't he? I think he is. Well, anyway. Um, <laughs> Yeah, well, no, not necessarily. He's just, he's not fully guaranteed, I don't think, next year. Oh, okay. 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 Well, Kevin Durant, dude, uh, you, you're, if he brings in Harden and they do nothing, he's just, he look, he already looks ridiculous, if you ask me. I mean, he's firing another coach. I mean, come on, dude. My gosh, man. How about you step up and say, I stunk it up? Why can't you do that? I don't understand it. Why can't MB did say you're right? You said it yesterday. He did say that he didn't play well and he has to play her. But then the crap about what well, we can't do it ourselves and blah blah. What's wrong with these guys? Whatever happened to just being accountable for what you do? You know what's wrong with that? It's horrible. I'm sick. Of, I'm sick of listening to it. Time for an OGN break. It's storm season. Visit OGN.com/stormprep for safety tips. Hey, the Johnny's Reward app, uh, you need to put it on your phone. Uh, Johnny's Hamburgers free in your app store and get rewards simply for using it. All right? So get the Johnny's Hamburgers app for free. And then if you use it, you can get some rewards. Perfect time of year for Johnny's Burger Bar as well. And live music out here Thursdays and Friday. By the way, Pauline's out there in Yukon. Great place. If you haven't eaten out there, they got live music Thursday through Saturday. So great things happening with Johnny's. All right, we'll be back with Travers Take and a lot more on a leader in sports, the animal. Don't go away. Hello? Hello? Call the sports animal and be a Johnny's charcoal broiler first-time caller. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. All first-time callers win a $25 credit on the free Johnny's app. Download the free app today. Johnny's, an OKC legend since 1971, with locations all over the metro. To the phones. This report is sponsored by Casey's, here for good. This summer, Casey's has 89 cent fountain and frozen drinks. But if you don't have 89 cents, you could check your center console, or dig between your couch cushions, or ask grandma for a dollar, or just use your credit card. We take those too. 89 cent frozen and fountain drinks at Casey's, all summer long. Restrictions may apply, see store for details. A hit in the morning, between class, after school. Vaping sucks you in quick, not to mention all the chemicals and health problems everyone's talking about. That's why thousands of teens are ready to take back their life their own way. With My Life, My Quit. When you sign up with us, you'll get a free and simple quit plan that makes it easier to stop vaping. Now's the time to get your life back. Visit MyLifeMyQuit.com or text StartMyQuit to 36072. Remington Park Racing is back. Watch, wager, and win on the world's best American quarter horses, paints, and Appaloosas. Remington Park Racing begins Thursday through Saturday at 6 p.m., Sunday racing at 4. Enjoy the racing action from the Bricktown Brewery, open daily at 11 a.m. with the Silks Restaurant or Henry Hudson's open every race night. Racing group options, including sweet packages, are also available. Couple the winning racing bets with jackpot scores in the Remington Park Casino. Parking at admission are always free. Visit RemingtonPark.com for more information. Let your heart race Thursday through Sunday at Remington Park. When life sounds too much like this. It's time to consider more of this.
Sometimes a little shift is all you need. A dose of perspective. Dos Equis Lager. Get a dose. Enjoy Dos Equis responsibly. Copyright 2021. Imported by Cervezas Mexicanas, White Plains, New York. Guys, did you know your testosterone affects everything in your system, including how you feel and perform every day? Right now, Revive Men's Health Oklahoma City will check your testosterone for free. Knowing your T levels is the first step in understanding if you have low T. Your testosterone level impacts your energy, libido, sleep, weight, hair loss, mood, and even ED. Maintaining an appropriate T level can change your whole life. Most men start to see changes in their hormone levels in their 30s. Experience and results matter. So what are you waiting for? Get your T-levels checked today by local, experienced, and trusted men's health experts. They've helped thousands of men since 2011. They're so confident they can help you, they even guarantee it. Call Revive today and schedule your free testosterone test, free exam, and free consultation. Call Revive Men's Health at 405-942-3100. That's 405-942-3100. Or visit revivemenshealth.com. Keep cool this summer with Air Comfort Solutions Complete AC Tune-Up. Call us today, 721-3740, or visit aircomfortsolutions.net. Are you tired of the same old dining experience? Craving something different, like the taste of real home-cooked Southern Comfort Food Classics? Look no further than Florence's Restaurant. Family owned and operated for more than 70 years, Florence's takes pride in serving the best homemade dishes that warm your heart and soothe your soul in a cozy, inviting atmosphere. Reminiscent of family gatherings and Sunday suppers. Indulge in mouth-watering favorites like their award-winning fried chicken, ribs, honey meatloaf, pot roast, and so much more. And don't forget about their first Saturday breakfast brunch served on the first Saturday of each month. Enjoy a custom-made omelet, fluffy waffles, mimosas, and those legendary smothered potatoes and onions. Enjoy happy hour at Florence's Monday through Friday after 2 p.m. with four ice-cold beers and a big bucket of fried chicken backs for only $25. And Florence's Restaurant is our sweet deal of the week. So be on time to the sportsanimal.com this Friday morning at 820 to purchase a $50 gift certificate for only half price. It's the Sweet Deal of the Week with Florence's Restaurant and the SportsAnimal.com. Quote based on healthy dogs, smoking 30-year-old female with a 20-year term policy. Rates may vary. Eligible policies and estate planning tools can vary by state. It's a busy life. You have enough to worry about. So here's a great way to check life insurance off your list. It's called Ethos. With the thought of medical exams, forms to fill out, and the cost, it's easy to see why life insurance can fall to the bottom of your to-do list. But at Ethos Life, we've got your back. For about a dollar a day, you could get a quarter million dollars in term life insurance without a medical exam. Just go online, answer a few health questions, and snap, family protected. You could get a quote in seconds, apply in minutes, and be covered in hours. No medical exams, no blood tests, no hassle. Right now, with your purchase of an eligible policy from Ethos, you'll get something else important to your family. Tools to create a legal will. A $449 value, yours free. Ethos, the 100% online, hassle-free way to get affordable life insurance. Get your free online quote now at ethoslife.com. That's E-T-H-O-S life.com. <laughs> Sports Animal Studios, powered by the OKC Thunder. Quarter, half, and full season ticket memberships for the 2023-24 Thunder season are on sale now. Get yours at okcthunder.com slash memberships. If you love the famous raspberries and cream cakes, we've got a treat for you. Birdie's Bakery in Norman, now open on Main Street. Be on time at thesportsanimal.com this Friday at 8.20 a.m. to purchase a $50 gift certificate to Birdie's Bakery in Norman for half price. Only a limited number available, so be on time. Sweet deal of the week with Birdie's Bakery and thesportsanimal.com. We're back. Here today at Johnny's Charcoal Broiler, the original right here on Britain Road. Incredible food, great people. Rick Haynes is a great dude. We love him being a great part of our station. You'll love it out here as well. Um, how about we get and go to Traber's Take? Traber's Take. You know what really grinds my gears? Sponsored by Van Hoof Fence. Get the job right the first time. Their perfection is your protection. Go to vhfence.com or call Van Hoos Fence today. 405-735-1167. Damn. 
So, Matt Ravis, have you seen what the heck's going on up there in Baltimore with the Ravens? Have you seen this? Uh, what you talking about? Well, big Lamar Jackson, okay, and Odell Beckham, who, by the way, have never played it down together, ever, okay? And the Baltimore Ravens pay him massive amounts of money. I love it as a Steeler fan. I think it's ridiculous. I think the money is so stupid for these quarterbacks. It's ridiculous. But great, go for it. I'm, I'm all for it. He, neither one of them come to um, the uh, the workouts. Not mandatory, but, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, like the um, OTAs? Yeah, yeah. The, the ones, you know, that they're not mandatory, but so... They got a brand new offensive coordinator and my boy Todd Munkin, okay? It's going to be a new offense. They're not going to run the same offense. And you're telling me that Lamar Jackson and Odell Beckham don't even come to the workouts? I mean, I got to tell you something, Matt. If I was the Ravens, I would be livid. I mean, livid. I paid this guy, I mean, an absurd amount of money. And he, I'm not saying he didn't earn it. Don't take it the wrong way. It's not like they're handing it out. So he earned the money. But now they get a brand new offensive coordinator and supposedly a wide receiver who, in my opinion, is probably about a number three nowadays. But anyway, everybody's all fired up about Odell Beckham, okay, coming off of an injury and everything. And neither one of them go to the daggone uh, uh, workouts? This is That's ridiculous. I'm sorry, man. If I was doing a sports talk radio show in Baltimore right now, I mean, I, I might get thrown off the daggone air. Matt, I mean, you usually, you usually aren't totally with me on this, but aren't, aren't you kind of close to being with me on one of these deals like this? Well, I, I mean, you should be there. You, I, I think that you, you, you have a point. You would want to learn that. You would want to learn that offense and know it in and out. Um, you know, yeah. even if that knee isn't hundred percent healthy, you can still be there. Yeah. You can still learn that. I wonder, do all like, do most quarterbacks attend OTAs? I should probably well, know this. Well, remember, remember last year, remember Aaron Rodgers didn't go. Remember that, you know. But I, all I know is, is that the way I understand it is most of the younger quarterbacks do. But I think that when you have a brand new offensive coordinator, you know, I, I saw an interview today with Munkin, and, and you know, I was going to text him, and I thought, I'll just, I'll, I'll just sit back and just kind of text him maybe tomorrow or something. But... He's, he's up there going, well, it's really not that big of a deal. I mean, we're talking. And you could see in his face that he wasn't very happy about it. I didn't hear what Harbaugh said. But I just, my gosh, he gets everything he wants, right? Everything he wants with a brand-new offense, brand-new offensive coordinator, brand-new wide receivers. By the way, didn't they? They drafted two wide receivers, did they not? Two of them, I think. Two young guys. I know they drafted Zay Flowers. Yeah. Who you and I both really like. He's going to be good. Yeah, kid from Boston College, right? Um, and and I think they drafted another one, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, a bunch of new people, and he doesn't even go. Boy, I, I'm telling you, man. I just sometimes I just don't understand these athletes nowadays. You know, like okay, let me tell you this, Matt. Aaron Rodgers not going to these workouts last year. Okay, you know, I mean the guy's running the same offense that he's been running for years. He, you know, he's, I, I, there were young wide receivers. So I think that's, you remember, we talked about this last year at this time and we kind of ripped into him because of those young wide receivers, right? Remember they had like three new wide receivers. And so, although I didn't like it, I at least understand it a little bit, but when you got brand new offensive, I mean, they're putting Munkin in a really tough spot. Maybe I'm being a little biased on this, Matt, because Monk is my boy. Maybe I'm, you know, maybe, maybe I wouldn't feel as strongly about it if it wasn't him. But I just, <coughs> I think they're putting an amazing amount of pressure on Monk to just, you know, go out there and get an offense rolling. And some will say, Jim, they'll have a lot of time. You don't understand. I mean, repetition, repetition. Let me tell you, you know what, uh, you know what my boy Pickett's been doing all dang on win all all winter and everything? He's been he's been getting with the wide receivers and <clears throat> running the offense and throwing and all that other stuff. You gotta do that stuff, man. You gotta be on time with everybody. Odell Beckham. How can Odell Beckham not go to the thing? Yeah, I don't know. Like uh, do, do most veterans attend? I really don't know about those OTAs. Well, I would say, Matt, that my guess is is that over 50 percent but not a hundred go but i would bet you when you're brand new to a team 
See, I, what I don't understand is, is that when I was young, Matt, okay, I hate doing this as the old man, but when I was young, man, when you were trying to go, like when I first went to, to varsity football, or when I first came to Oklahoma State to play football or baseball, or when I went to the minor leagues, or when I went to the big leagues, dude, all I was about was, yes, sir, no, sir, yeah, let me show you, blah, blah, blah. You know, you go all out to make an unbelievable first impression. Do youngsters nowadays don't care about that? Yeah, but they don't, I mean, they don't you're care. About, you're talking about Lamar Jackson and Odell Beckham. They're veterans. They're not really. But rookies. Odell Beckham has never been on his team ever. He, no, he I doesn't know. know anything about anybody. No, I know. I know. How can he not be there? I don't know. Right? I don't know. I mean, Lamar Jackson. Obviously, you're right. He is a big time veteran there. He's their quarterback. He's been there for a while. Although he's had a little bit of a struggle here lately with some injuries and things. Um. I don't know, man. You get a new coordinator, and I just can't believe that they're not there. Again, as a Steelers yeah, fan, no, I'm happy. That's surprising. Yeah, after he went through all that, maybe, maybe, you know what? Maybe he's mad at the team. I don't know. I've never got the, you know, outside of the contract stuff, I've never got the idea that he just want, doesn't want to play. Though. I agree like with he's you. been there whenever he, like, you know, whenever he, outside Although the contract th stuff. There were, some argue, there were some talk last year at the end of the year that maybe he might have been able to play, but yeah. he didn't. So. No, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm covering that in my contract-related thing. Don't you think that was that was part of it? Probably, yeah, probably. Well, I just I just don't understand it now. I don't, I don't understand it. I, I just don't. Brand new guy. And again, I'll say it again, maybe I'm being biased, Matt. You know, maybe I am because... I don't want to see the Ravens be good, but I'd like to see Munkin do well. It's kind of a hard deal for me being such a big Steeler fan. Um, you know, I hope that they have a uh, – frankly, I hope they do some good things offensively, and then I hope they stink the rest of the way and they lose a bunch of games. But I, uh, I'd i like to see Munkin do well, but I don't know, man. I, I will tell you this. I am not as high on Lamar Jackson as many other people are, and you know this. We've talked about it before. I think the dude is unstoppable when he starts to put tuck the ball and run. I mean, he's amazing. I mean, he could, everybody, he makes anybody miss. I think at times he throws the ball really well, and other times he doesn't throw the ball really well. I would have never, ever, ever given him as much money as I, they gave him. I would have never done it. I would have tried to tag him. I would have tried to do something else to see what would happen. Now, of course, if he held out, then you're in some trouble, and then you... What is up? Not getting enough sleep? Are you keeping some injury under wraps? Too many hoes? You are one game away from tanking this entire season. That's what you call getting rough. What a disappointment. You're going to have to show me more if you want to come play. Hey, franchise. Got time for a meeting today? I've got some paperwork for you to sign, but trust me, you're... Way, way too much. I don't know. Probably won't, though, right? Probably won't. No, no, the quarterback market is just going to keep going up and up and up. I know. Let's see with what Joe Burrow, Burrow makes, Burrow. you know? I mean. Yeah, Burrow. Yeah. How about Trevor Lawrence? There's going to be some dudes to get paid. We saw what Jalen Hurts just made. And what Lamar just made. Yep. No, you're right. It is. It's probably going to keep you on know if, going up. You know if Rodgers was at OTAs for the Jets? Yes, he was. He was? Yes, he was. Yep. And acting like a, you, you saw him, clean cut, no funky looking beard. I mean, he's like, he's like putting on his – now – I think that will change more than likely, but he is putting on his best face, dude. So now he's now he looks like he moved out of mom's basement now. Good. That's him. right. Yeah. No, you're right. I think he got his own little apartment. Now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the pictures. I see pictures of him, dude. He doesn't even look like it. You know, he's, a lot of times he'll have his hair in a ponytail, well, that's and that's good. That's good. Yeah. It's it's the honeymoon period right now. We'll we'll see. <laughs> Oh, I mean, you, don't, you don't think there's there's no chance things go sideways here, right? I mean, you you would have to admit that that's got that's a factor with Aaron Rodgers. Oh, dude, I let me tell you something. That is uh, theatrical. That will be some tremendous theater. The Jets are going to be incredible theater this year, will they not? Oh, that the best thing that ever happened to ESPN, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, it's going to be. I had some uh, some bittersweet news for you. Speaking of, what's that? Um, you won't be able to watch Pat McAfee on his show anymore because he's walking oh. away from that. Oh, you're gonna do something big? He is. Uh, that was a big deal. He signed with FanDuel. Now he's gonna be with ESPN full time. What's he so gonna be So you'll be able to see him more on uh, more on ESPN. He will. Um, I'm guessing just more of what he was doing there. So Saturday game day. Yeah. Mm. Hey, listen. I'm a capitalist. More power to the dude. I don't get it. 
But you know what? There's people listening to us right now that don't get us either. So it's the way life is. Some people love people. Some people don't. Let me steal one of your, let me steal one of your talking points real quick, though. How about them laying off all these people and paying a guy like Pat McAfee $10 million bucks a year? Is that what it is, man? Is that what it is? That's, that's what this, that's what I'm reading. Is he's got to make oh more than $10 million a year. That is so bad, man. So they lay off a bunch of really talented people left and right, and then like, they pay him $10 million. And not just, like, really talented people, like, legit reporters and journalists and people who can do that stuff. And Pat McAfee works really hard to understand that, but he's an entertainment guy. He's an entertainer. So Boy. thank you for allowing me to steal one of your talking points. For a That's a great point, Matt. I No, you're right on the money. It's a shame. ESPN has run – Disney and ESPN has run that place into the ground. That's what they've done. Uh, I mean, it's just unbelievable. And they continue to buy every single sporting thing that they can buy, and they don't care about people. And then, like you said – you get rid of journalists and really good reporters and all those other people, and then you pay $10 million to him? Wow. Now, what happened with FanDuel? How did he get out of that? I mean, that what, what, did he have, like, an out or a clause or something? Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm guessing he had to or at least paid some money to them or, or I don't know. Mm. Wow. All right. Well, Congratulations. Congratulations. By the way, you see Joe Burrow amid his uh, deals, the talks of his thing. Did he, did he say? Did you hear that he said he has his teammates on his mind? Hear that? That's good to hear. It's got to be good to I hear. Think, let me tell you something. I think Joe Burrow could do what Mahomes did. I really do. Now, I don't know if you saw, but Kansas City has said that they're going to make Mahomes the highest paid player in the entire league by September. So I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know if they're going to move some of the back money up front to make him that high. I don't know what they're going to do. But I wonder. I think Burrow might do something like that, Matt. I really do. I think he might take now, a little bit less though, money. And I know you know this being in that same division. They got one of the cheapest owners in all of sports. They do. So that will be interesting to see how that negotiation goes because he's still got to make a ton of money. I will regardless. tell you this. Uh, the Steeler, the, as a Steeler fan, I hope they give him a billion dollars. I mean, I just, just go. But But let me tell you something. This dude gets it. Joe Burrow gets it. Some of these other dudes don't get it. Joe Burrow, Mahomes got it. Joe Burrow got it. Basically, they know if we're going to win, I can't make 50, 60, 70 million dollars. Aaron Rodgers doesn't get it. Aaron Rodgers, when he signed that deal, Matt, he didn't need any money. Any money. He could have taken whatever the heck he wanted. But he said he wanted 60 million. He got 60 million. And look what happened. So, um, these guys are interesting. By the way, I will never say don't take the money. I'm not saying that. I'm a capitalist. Get what you can get. But if you want to try to win, you better figure out how to take a little bit less. That's all there is to it. Time for an og &E break. We're here today at Johnny's Charcoal Broiler. Stay with us on The Animal. The Morning Animal. Morning Animal. Only three years out of the 15 years that Thunder have played here. And again, this is a... This is a reminder of how damn spoiled we are as a pro city. The, there are a lot of downs. There are more downs than ups for most cities. Yeah. You, you don't experience the success in 15 years that we have had here. There have been three years where they have not had a guy get a vote for MVP in, in the MVP voting. 2009, which was the very first year they were here. Right. And then the last two years. That's it. Three. There are some NBA cities that are cursing at that thought right yeah. now. The Morning Animals, weekday mornings, 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. on WWLS, the sports animal. Take the credit, you won't regret it. The IRS is rewarding business owners with free money for keeping workers during the pandemic and beyond through the employee retention credit. To qualify, call Travis Watkins Tax now, 405-451-3399. Why McBride Orthopedic Hospital? Because when you need it, you better know where to go. In orthopedics, there's no room for error. You got to know who's the best from the start. McBride has every specialty you need and the best docs in the state. It's that simple. Be proactive. Know McBride's number, 405-230-9270, or check them out online at mcboh.com. Right now, you'll be glad you did.
McBride's never let the ultimate down. I'm always satisfied because I go to the best in the business, McBride. 100% physician owned. Oklahoma-based Precision Fluid Power sells new and remanufactured hydraulic pumps and motors, as well as repairs for virtually any hydraulic pump, motor, and cylinders with free evaluations and a fast turnaround. The Precision Fluid Power team can help you with all your hydraulic needs, regardless of what equipment you operate, industrial, mobile, agricultural, construction, Precision Fluid Power's 150 years of expertise can help. PrecisionFluidPower.com Fastening your seatbelt only takes a second, but it can stop you from doing a lot of scary things. Like getting whiplash, flying through your windshield and into a tree, or traffic, breaking bones, getting a concussion, and damaging your vital organs. Most importantly, it can save your life. So buckle up. Every trip, every time. Click it or tick it. Brought to you by the Oklahoma Highway Safety Office. This is Chip, owner of Adams Family Real Estate. I started my $999 flat fee business in 2017 and quickly became the largest listing agent in the metro. My process is quick, efficient, and saves our customers thousands of dollars. My customers are thrilled with the results. I love my job, and I love the fact that I have helped over 900 families save $8 million in traditional listing commissions. Today, I am very excited to announce that I have expanded my team, and we are now offering our five-star rated service to work with buyers on all of their real estate purchase needs. To find out more, call me at 405-285-4600. This Mother's Day, give mom what she really wants, more energy and a better love life. At Oklahoma Men's Clinic, we don't just treat men. We also treat women and couples, and we want to help get mom back to feeling like herself. If mom's version of a hot mom summer involves more hot flashes than hot date nights, hormone pellet therapy can change that. One small device painlessly inserted can help balance hormones to help with mood, energy, and making her feel like her younger self. And at Oklahoma Men's Clinic, we customize doses for your unique situation. Couples visits are just $99, and we can help mom and dad have something really to celebrate this year. In the month of May, if she purchases a pellet package from Oklahoma Men's Clinic... She'll receive her second pellet completely free. So don't wait. Schedule your appointment today. We promise it'll be the best gift you've ever given her. Call Oklahoma Men's Clinic at 405-266-3000. That's 266-3000. Or online at okcmen.com. Are you tired of the same old dining experience? Craving something different like the taste of real home-cooked Southern Comfort Food classics? Look no further than Florence's Restaurant. Family owned and operated for more than 70 years, Florence's takes pride in serving the best homemade dishes that warm your heart and soothe your soul in a cozy, inviting atmosphere. Reminiscent of family gatherings and Sunday suppers. Indulge in mouth-watering favorites like their award-winning fried chicken, ribs, honey meatloaf, pot roast, and so much more. And don't forget about their first Saturday brunch served on the first Saturday of each month. Enjoy a custom-made omelet, fluffy waffles, mimosas, and those legendary smothered potatoes and onions. Enjoy happy hour at Florence's Monday through Friday after 2 p.m. with four ice cold beers and a big bucket of fried chicken backs for only $25 and Florence's restaurant is our sweet deal of the week so be on time to the sportsanimal.com this Friday morning at 820 to purchase a $50 gift certificate for only half price it's the sweet deal of the week with Florence's restaurant and the sportsanimal.com we want to see you at Kaliti Kia. Don't buy from us. Sabit, Sabit, what are you saying? We're live on the radio. If you want to pay more for the exact same car, don't buy from us. If you like burning money, don't buy from us. Sabit, you're exactly right. Kaliti Kia will beat any deal on a new Kia or give you $1,000 guaranteed. And that is the Kaliti Kia promise. Corey, was a promise like that, nobody beats Kaliti Kia. Sabit, nobody. Hey, Oklahoma business owner. Listen up. The IRS is rewarding employers up to 26000 bucks per employee for keeping workers during the pandemic. Most employees qualify for the employee retention credit. So call Travis Watkins today now, 405-451-3399. Tune in tonight, Draft Lottery. You're getting a six, Hopscotch, Kitchen and Bar, 100909 North May. Without Leshback, Gideon Hamilton will be there and other special guests. We will feature complete coverage of the NBA's draft lottery, how it impacts the Thunder, and how it impacts the rest of the league. Could be a big night. Find out more at thesportsanimal.com or on the Sports Animal app.
It is uh, a lot of things uh, going on. Sports world. I can't wait tonight, dude. I mean, cannot wait. Cannot wait uh, for this basketball game. And then, of course, Matt, we've got the... Uh, Got the uh, ping pong balls tonight, right? Oh yeah, draft lottery. Tell the, the fun, tell the fans out there. Very, very simple, right? If they don't get 14, 13, or 12, they'll be in the top four. Is that the way it is? Yeah, we will. You will know if you're as a Thunder fan very early. That's exactly right. Thirty yards to go. If they don't make 14, 13, or 12, you jump all the way up to top four. And after yeah. that, then that'll be that'd be really crazy. Oh, I was looking at some. I was looking at some tape today of uh, Wimbenyama. Golly, dude. Doesn't it just, I mean, every time I see it, I feel like I'm watching something I shouldn't be watching. Well, you know what it is? When you look at him, you think he's got to be like 6'5". You know? There's the no way that he's 7'3". Yeah. yeah. Get a step back three. I told Al, I saw this play on the internet. He got switched onto a guard. Okay, was probably close to being a foot taller than him. The guard was trying to shake and bake him, couldn't do it. Then the guard stepped back for a three. Wembenyama blocked it, but when he blocked it, he didn't block it out of bounds. He blocked it, barely touched it, just held it almost. Dribbled the floor, bam, slammed it. Wow. I mean, it's just, it's, I don't know. How about the highlight where he misses a three and then he, he puts it back as a dunk? I know. You ever seen anything like that before? No. I, he, you can do he's that. He's probably... He's probably had three or four things that I've watched that I've never seen before. That's crazy. What do you, what do you want to see from the Thunder draft wise? I want a wing that can shoot. I mean, in that first pick, and then after that, I'd like to either get a guy in a small trade or a small free agency or the second round that's a big man that can protect the rim. Those are the two guys I think they need. How about you? Yeah, a uh, wing who can shoot, can space the floor, play defense is my number one priority. Um, I, you're, you're going to recoil at this. I almost feel like they could use another guard. Really? I mean, Trey Mann, we both agree that he's not really the answer. Yeah, no, he's not the answer. Outside of Shea and Jalen Williams, is there anybody you just feel really confident in their ability to go get their own bucket? Giddy can create his own shot a little bit, but that's always off the dribble and at the rim. Yeah. So I, I, I think they could would you want to do it if they're, if they're number 12? Would you want them to get the guard there? If that's the best player available, then yes. If, now, if there's a wing who's about that good, then I would I would rather have the wing. Do you like, want Grady Dick? I, that's, my, that's probably my number one selection. Now, that said, because of that, I don't think that's Presti's guy. Usually he does something <laughs> different than what I think he's going to do. Well, Grady Dick's kind of long and can shoot. Mm-hmm. I kind of um, like uh, Whitehead from Duke. I think he's a little underrated. I think he's going to move up draft board some. People didn't get, get to really see him showcase. Was he hurt or something? Yeah, he had the. Uh, he's had some foot surgeries. Okay. His first surgery didn't um, didn't heal up right. Well, it's going to be. Uh, I know one thing. There's going to be a team going crazy tonight. I mean, crazy. This is this is LeBron. This is Magic Johnson. This is Kareem. I mean, this is. This is what this guy is. And I know people go, well, Jimmy, so 19 to... You're right. I mean, he could get hurt. I mean, I'm not it. But if you go go read about him, his family has hired people to help him um, get better, make his body more unvulnerable. Is that... I mean, how do I say... I don't know how to say this. Um, yeah, they don't want to... Yeah. Yeah, less able to be compromised by injury. Yeah, I mean, they've, they've done all these different things for his feet and his yeah. legs. Down to thinking about his, like, big toe, strengthening his big toe. I mean, it's crazy. This is, this guy's unbelievable. I mean, it, there are there are four or five teams that if he go to, I think, like, if he goes to Portland, they're a playoff team right away. You agree? Yes. If they I go do. to New Orleans, playoff team right away. Agree? Yep, absolutely. Um, Not Houston. How about Orlando? Could Orlando get to the playoffs with him? Yes. Close. Yes. Yes, I agree. Yeah, they won How about Charlotte? Games. Charlotte? Uh, no, I don't. I, th I think Charlotte might be my least favorite landing spot for him. How about Detroit? Detroit's intriguing. Uh, Kate Cunningham, if he can stay healthy, they, yeah, they should be able to be better. Um, that's not saying much, I guess. Anybody else? Houston, no, obviously. 
I think Portland would be the one that really would. I mean, if, if Wembenyama goes to Portland, it's not real good news for the West. No. Not good news no. for the Thunder. No, everybody else gulps at that point. Yeah, you want him to go go East. Yeah, let him go to Charlotte. That'd be the best place. Have him go to Charlotte. But we're going to find out tonight, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, we got a great show coming up tonight. Uh, Al, Al Eshbeck and uh, Gideon Hamilton, they're going to be uh, down the road here. Uh, they're going to be at Hopscotch. And, and guess what? Uh, they'll, be doing, they'll be going all over the lottery. So it's going to be a great show. Okay, let's take an OGE break. And it's uh, storm season. Go to OGE.com slash storm prep to get all the things you need for that. I'm at Johnny's Charcoal Broiler. Come on out, have some lunch or dinner. It's getting towards dinner now. Perfect time of year for Johnny's Burger Bars for spring parties and events. Also, the banquet room. Great. they got a beautiful banquet room. You want to have a party, graduation party, end of the season events, just call to reserve here at Johnny's. Okay, next hour, dedicated to you. No, I'm sorry. When we get back, we're going to talk to Judge Julie. Get her thoughts on what we've been through the last week. Stay with us on the leader in sports, the animal. Thanks to tee off. Michelob Ultra presents the sports animals. Driver a day in May. Powered by Windstar World Casino and Resorts Golf Club and Academy. Elevate your game with a tailor-made stealth driver. Plus a round of golf at Windstar Golf Club. Home of two championship 18-hole golf courses. You can enter to win now at thesportsanimal.com or the Sports Animal app. The Morning Animals. Announce a daily winner each weekday morning at 7.30. Plus... All daily winners are qualified for a VIP golf experience for you and three friends at Windstar. Complete with four rounds of golf, a custom fitting for your driver, luxurious accommodations, and $1,000 in food and beverage credits. No golf game is complete without a tailor-made stealth driver and a Michelob Ultra, the superior light beer. The Sports Animals Driver a Day in May. From Michelob Ultra, Windstar World Casino and Resorts Golf Club and Academy. Register now at thesportsanimal.com or the Sports Animal app. All right, give me a club. This report is sponsored by Club Car Wash and ClubCarWash.com. Club Car Wash is now open in Edmond on North Kelly Avenue between Lowe's and Walgreens. For a limited time, get an unlimited membership for just 10 bucks a month for the first three months. Club Car Wash is now open on North Kelly Avenue between Lowe's and Walgreens in Edmond. Join the club! At the United States Postal Service, we're reinventing our network to help keep your business moving. With new shipping options to deliver better value, greater flexibility to conveniently reach your customers, more confident shipping with new informed delivery features, and new electric vehicles for a cleaner, brighter future. Fast, reliable, perfectly orchestrated. The United States Postal Service. Delivering for America. Learn more at USPS.com slash moving forward. See the state's best prices on new and used rifles, pistols, shotguns, knives, and more at the OKC Fairgrounds. Open Saturday, 9 to 5, Sunday, 10 to 4. Oklahoma Gun Show. A straight shooting gun show. Take action in May. Get a brand new cooling system installed for as low as $85 a month with no payments for 90 days from Triple Play Home Services. Call 405-877-PLAY or schedule online at calltripleplay.com. The roar of our engines, the pump of our heart beats, the pedal to our metal, the sparks that ignite us, the pistons that push us, the passions that drive us. From the feelings that move us to the places that pull us on the roads that unite us. With nearly 6,000 stores and over 17,000 auto care centers, Napa has America's largest network of parts and care, here to keep you firing on all cylinders. I had to get out of softball because at one point I like, couldn't see what I was doing. Like The sun hurts. Real stories from real smile patients at ClearSight. I don't have to pack my contacts or glasses with me for a trip anymore. I don't have to stop the whole group because my eyes are bothering me. Yeah, I learned how to scuba dive and I kept reading things in the manual about how if you have contacts, then you're going to need to do X, Y, and Z. And I just sat there like, yeah, I don't have to do any of that. That is so fabulous. 
what's normal in the summer? Pools, lakes, being outdoors. LASIK is great, but sometimes you have to wait a while. But with Smile, you can get back to those things in just a few days. Have your Smile or LASIK procedure at ClearSight before the end of the month and get a new pair of Oakley, Maui Gym, or Ray-Ban sunglasses on us. Your life will change forever. Just the little things like wearing sunglasses. Call 733-2020 or visit ClearSight.com. And remember... 2020 or it's free. That's the ClearSight guarantee. And you are going to love what you see. Little story about Johnny and Polly. Two Oklahoma kids growing up in the restaurant scene. Johnny's Charcoal Broiler has been a legend in Oklahoma for over 50 years. Johnny Haynes created OKC's best hamburger with his wife Pauline by his side. Now, the family that brought you Johnny's honors their mother with Pauline's Southern Kitchen. Comfort food for your family with a nod to Pauline. And they still serve the burgers that started it all. Come dine with us and you will see what we mean. I am here with Jamie Mullen to introduce Service Master by Eagle Eye. Just thinking, hadn't Service Master been around about as long as me? Service Master was founded in 1929, so I think we got you beat. The Eagle Eye franchise has been serving OKC and surrounding areas for 20 years. I highly recommend Service Master by Eagle Eye for fire or water restoration, air duct cleaning, yucky mold cleanup, COVID disinfectant spraying, or even carpet cleaning. SM by Double E. Um, 405-216-8000. Service Master by Eagle Eye. We've been around longer than Al. See ya. If you love the famous raspberries and cream cakes, we've got a treat for you. Birdie's Bakery in Norman is continuing a family legacy from raspberries and cream and is open now in the heart of Norman on Main Street. Birdie's is a delicious, eclectic bakery and bistro offering a sizable selection of ready-to-enjoy sweets, a yummy daily lunch menu, grab-and-go casseroles for easy heat and serve meals, plus catering and an adorable space for luncheons and celebratory gatherings. Stop in to enjoy their everyday lunch menu featuring favorites like the everything but the kitchen sink salad, loaded with seasoned beef, grilled chicken, toasted almonds, pumpkin seeds, cucumbers, tomatoes, shredded feta cheese, hard-boiled eggs, romaine and spring mix, and topped off with a raspberry chipotle drink dressing and ranch dressing be on time to the sportsanimal.com this friday morning at 8 20 to purchase a 50 dollars gift certificate to birdie's bakery by raspberries and cream and norman for half price there's only a limited number available so be on time it's the sweet deal of the week with birdie's bakery by raspberries and cream and the sportsanimal.com makes a little sports analysis pop culture and great interviews and you've got the rich eisen show podcast and we say hello to the new number eight of the new york jets because aaron Rodgers is going back Back to school, a little triple Lindy wearing his old cow number, diving into the New York Jets pool, which, as we all know, is filled with riptides everywhere. You have no idea, and that's normally for the ocean, but nothing ever makes sense for the Jets, ever. The Rich Eisen Show Podcast, wherever you listen. Broadcasting sponsored by Parrish Devon Injury Lawyer. Visit PepperWins.com. This is WWLS-FM, The Village, Oklahoma City. Your home of the Oklahoma City Thunder. The Sports Animal. A cumulus station. This hour, sponsored by Bob Moore Kia. More choices. More value. More for your trade. It's hour number two with Jim Traber on 98.1 FM. WWLS, The Sports Animal. This is Judge Julie on WWLS, the sports animal. We are back at Johnny's Charcoal Broiler, and Judge Julie is brought to you by the great people at... Don't have to put up with any malarkey, call 888 sparky Mr. Sparky, how are you, Mrs. Julie Traber? I'm good. I just noticed that the sunshine came out, so that makes me happy. Yeah, there hasn't been a lot of that lately. No, there hasn't. How are you? I'm okay. Um, by the way, before we get into our life, um, mm -hmm. I want to let people know that our friend who has called the show, um, you know, who has obviously broken down on the show, Robert is his name, um, he last week... Uh, went to the detox up there in the Tulsa area, and he is presently at Rob's Ranch out in Sayre. So a lot of people... Yay, we've been, that is wonderful. Yeah. Yep, we've been praying for him, and every I know a lot of people out there have been praying for him and thinking about him, so it looks like that he's going in the right direction. So I'll keep you updated on him, but 
That Rob's Ranch thing, you know, Julie, you've been around me a long time now. What, what's it going to be, 28 years? How many years? Is it going to be 28 coming up? I think it's 28. Well, it's 28, 28 that we're married. I've been around you a lot longer than that. That's right. You've been around me for about 30 years now. Yeah. And frankly, yeah. I've never done a daggone thing that's been good, not ever, until oh, this Rob's Ranch thing. Oh, true, sweetie, but <laughs> you are really happy to be a part of this and just, well, it's life-changing, and that's so rewarding to be a part of something like that. It really is. Um, okay, Jewel, everybody's wondering how you're doing. Um, I told everybody about our accident yesterday, and I told everybody that you were beat up pretty good, and you're not used to being beat up, are you? I am not. I do not like anything to slow me down. I don't like to be sick, um, and this has definitely kicked my butt for sure. So that has been kind of a bummer, but... Um, and I've gotten lots of messages, too, lots of people praying and just thankful that we're okay, and, and it could have been a lot worse. Um, but, yeah, we were we were tossed around pretty hard. So, yeah, it's just I'm taking it slow, but, but doing a little better each day. Now, you are one of the worst patients I've ever seen. <laughs> you tell me that pretty often, for sure. Well, you know, Matt Ravis, she takes a muscle relaxant, right? You know, and um, because her neck is just so, like, uptight and everything. And uh, what what I try to tell her, and she doesn't listen, this is great for everybody out there. And if you ever have to go through any type of pain or situation like this, you, you have to stay ahead of your pain. Stay ahead of your pain. But Miss Julie here, she does not stay ahead of her pain. She waits until the pain comes a rushing in and beating her up and then she goes oh maybe i better take a pill right yeah it's true i i'm not great i don't like to take medicine in general you know that about me and um and so yeah it's hard for me to just continually pop pills like they tell you to because i'm just i think i'm feeling better and so i want to just stop taking it but then you're feeling better because you're taking the pain pills right right so anyway I, in that respect, you're right. I'm not a great patient, but I, I haven't tried to run or do anything physical, which um, is killing me. But I'm, I'm trying to just lay around and take it easy. Now you took a long walk today. I did go on a walk. I took it nice and physical? slow. It is, but I'm just saying that was the first time in, in almost a week that I've been able to get outside and do that. So. That now you want to now, now you want to ahead and give your give, give us your synopsis of what I, I've told everybody what happened as far as I was concerned. Why don't you give your side of what was going on? Oh, you don't want me to go through all that again, do you? Well, you don't have to go like give the, the smaller version, the, the abridged version. You know, give, yeah, just because put, we kind of we tell all about it in the podcast, so I'd rather like make people go listen to our podcast. But sure. I will say this that. If something bad happens, you want Jim Traber, you know, in the bunker with you. Because you were amazing. I was kind of having a panic attack and uh, thought that I was dying. And um, you were just on top of it. And I don't even know how you were standing after I saw the windshield that your head hit. Matt Ravis, he busted the windshield with his head. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, um, so I know people have said he's hard-headed before, but it is true. It's a true statement. He he has the hardest head in the world. But I think you were just totally operating on adrenaline, but you were you were making sure. I was taken care of. Um, I think it was just, you know, out of fear and adrenaline, don't you think? But you yeah. were well, trying I mean, to run the you know show. I mean, I'm an old-fashioned dude, and I know there's going to be people out there that don't like to hear this, but I believe that my job is to take care of family. And when something is wrong in my family, I feel like it's pretty much my fault. I mean, I told you, I don't know, 50 times that I was sorry, even though there's not a human being alive no. that could have done anything no. about what happened, right? You, you couldn't have done anything. And in fact, our podcast, we titled Throw Mama from the Prius because... I did that. Um, you did throw me out of the Prius because you thought the car was going to explode. So I wasn't moving quite fast enough for you. And, well, you um, weren't moving at all. Really I mean, you were just in shock. You were just sitting there. Um, and I, yeah, I had, to get, had to get rolling. 
that airbag had gotten me pretty good, and I was not not really responding to you. So you did literally throw me out of the Prius. But I appreciate your quick action. You you didn't really fall apart until later. Like you didn't even notice you had all these cuts and bruises and everything until probably the next day. Well, I knew I knew after about 10 or 15 minutes of you know things happening and me making sure you're okay and the fire trucks and all that other stuff i started looking and i had blood all over me and i was like i don't i don't even know where the blood was coming from and then i reached up and i felt these really big cuts on my head and i was like wow okay <laughs> and, no. and then i told the policeman i said look i don't have a concussion okay i do not have a concussion and uh, they were all looking at me like, okay, dude, whatever, just zip it up. And we're going we're gonna, we're gonna to keep going, so. But uh, yeah. it, it well, was an amazing it's thing. better to be safe, yeah. Yep. And you're, so tell the people, are you getting better at all? Yeah, I think each day I'm, I'm feeling a little bit better. It's just, like I said, it's super frustrating to, when you're the person who is, really usually in pretty good health to be the one slowing us down you know so that's frustrating but i yeah i think each day i'm getting a little bit better i would say yeah well i'll tell you what matt ravis uh she always has to take care of me but now i've been trying to take care of her so there you go it's, uh, works out i'm i'm not very good at it but <laughs> i i'm doing my best so you're doing anyway. a great job and uh okay well listen i i you know you know what i want to talk about real quick jewel before we talk about something else is okay so you know you know who uh you know who is uh who has watched you know who you know who watches succession is our man matt Ravens. oh yeah now how far along are you matt i have not watched this week's episode so okay, i need to well, do that probably uh no, probably not tonight but or maybe after the game tonight. get ready because I don't know, Jewel, you want to just give a little, without giving it away, the synopsis of what yesterday's, uh, what, what it was? Well, you and I both concluded at the end of the episode that we felt like we'd wasted an hour of our life. Like, we could have skipped that episode. <laughs> you know, that happens, though. You know this, when you watch four, five, six, seven seasons of things, there are ones that are just kind of filler, yeah. right? Yes. No matter who it is. Like, that is... Yeah. I think one. I think one of the only things that we have watched that really never had filler was probably Breaking Bad, right? I mean, I, it just yeah. seemed like Breaking Bad every week was just something crazy. Exciting, but, yeah. Yeah. This but one. Here was our problem. We screwed up because we watched the finale of Queen of the South. That's right. We finished Queen you know, of the South, and that was a pretty good ending. A little bit great unrealistic, ending. but good. good oh, ending. it was wonderful. It was a, it was a great ending, yeah. And it, I'm just saying, as far as cartel shows go, I'm saying it was a little unrealistic because right. it's such a happy ending. Well, you know what's but, unbelievable? What's what's unbelievable about Queen of the South, Matt, is is that it's fake. All the other cartel shows we watched were all based on like real things. This one is fake, so they could go fake, and the ending was fake. But you still could, cool. You could get a happy ending. But yeah. so we watched that. We watched the finale. And then we watched Would this um, episode of, of Succession. And we were like, wow, that was pretty bad. That was not enjoyable. <laughs> so well, I think it was the fact that we had just watched a really good finale. You know, and then we watched that. I'll be interested, Matt, when you watch it to see what you thought about it. About the you Succession know? episode or Queen of the South? Yeah, Succession. The succession, okay. succession, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's, now, Matt, it's all about the election. Character? Who's your favorite character? Oh man, I kind of, uh, I kind of relate to Greg a little bit more than I feel like I, I feel comfortable <laughs> saying. I love Greg. I, feel, I relate to him more likes. than I feel comfortable saying. Yeah, he's great. I I think that this show is a festival of yardbirds. That's what I think. Uh, they're not, all yardbirds. Not a whole lot of good people in the show, Julie. You, you know what terrible. it is, Matt? They're yeah, terrible. you're right. They're bad people. But you know what this show shows, Matt, is that you can't pick who you're what family you're born into right so you can be born into a family where your father or your mother is one of the most impressive people in the world and you can be just a tremendous yardbird that's what this is because these kids are big league yardbirds wouldn't you agree man <laughs> no doubt they're not only are they evil but they're kind of stupid too yeah you're right exactly. that's perfect yeah so bad 
Matt Ravis hit it on the money, Joel. Evil and stupid. That's it. Evil and stupid. Yeah, I agree. I would like to punch Shiv in the face. I just thought I'd let y'all know. <laughs> she can't get out of her own way. I'm tired of watching her, boy. Wait till you see her tonight. Wait till you see her okay. in this next one. All right, all right, all right. I can't wait. Oh, man. Well, we can't watch anything tonight, Jewel, because we're going to be watching tonight. my man That's Jokic right. against LeBron. And oh. I'm I'm guessing you're still cheering on Jokic, right? Because he used oh, to have a big me? man crush on, on LeBron. Yeah, that was a long time ago. No, I got it. I got a. I got a big man crush now on Jokic. That's my guy. Okay. Jokic. You've moved on. Okay. I will be cheering on the Denver Nuggets. Although it's going to be a yeah. great series, the Lakers are amazing. Now, well, let me ask you. What do you think? Good. No, I've got a question for you. Okay. So, if the Lakers pull this out, I know we're totally rooting against them. But if they right. pull it out, what do you think about this controversy that? Russell Westbrook wants a ring if they win it. Well, Matt and I think it's all a bunch of crap because I th we think it was Patrick Burley who said that he wants a ring. We have not heard Russell Westbrook say that he wants a ring, right, Matt? We haven't heard that. Right. And I don't think Patrick Beverly is maybe the most reliable person ever. Yeah. I don't think I want Patrick Beverly to be my spokesperson. I'll just let you know that. So right now, this is just rumor and speculation. Well, he's probably going to get a ring. I mean, if they win the whole thing, he'll probably get a ring. But the fact of the matter is, is that if he'd have stayed there along with everybody else, they might not even have made the playoffs. I mean, they were terrible. But that's it wasn't true. totally his fault. But that's just the way things go. Things go. So. But what does this do with the with the big bet that you've got out into the in, well, in the any universe? any person that has any type of integrity or knows anything about sports would say that my bet would still be intact. I mean, I, Matt Ravis feels that with way. With them when they won the championship, right? Right. Yeah. I mean, you gotta you gotta be a part of winning the championship, right, Matt Ravis? Yes. That that to me would would he would not qualify as a champion. I don't and, think. And he... you know what? And you know what, Jewel? I've told Matt this. I've told my listener this. I don't think Russell. I think Russell Westbrook would agree with that. I do. I think I don't like Russell Westbrook. As a matter of fact, I think he's one of the biggest punks I've ever seen. But. I think he respects the game of basketball, and I believe that uh, I don't think he would. I don't think he would say to people, "You know how Jewel, my World Series ring, I never wear because I didn't play." You know, right. I don't ever wear it. I've never worn it one time, have I? You know that, not I one time. I don't think he's going to turn down the ring, though. You know. Well, I didn't turn down the ring. I just don't ever wear it. But you were a part of it. That's so no, different. I mean, I you wasn't were there through the whole thing. He but I never not. played. I, but I never had I won it back. I understand. I understand. But you were you were on the team. You were part of the team. He was not. He was gone when right. they when they made the playoffs. So I think that is totally different too. But I I don't think he would turn down the ring if it was offered and. No. I don't know. I think he would put that on his resume. You don't think so? No, I think I think his bro I think his bros would laugh at him if he said, "Look at my ring. Look, I won a championship." I think they'd laugh at it, and I would hope that yeah. they would. Like I'm telling you, I don't think Westbrook will do it, Joel. I don't. I think he'll take the ring if they give it to him. Sure, they'll take it, but I don't think he's going to talk about it. I don't think he's going to go, "Hey, I won a ring." I don't think he will. Yeah. It would be weird getting a ring, but you're not welcome at the parade. That would be really weird. That's right. But I guess LeBron yeah. doesn't like him anymore. <laughs> so yeah, that's a good way to look at it. Yeah, I've well, got uh, I've got Nuggets in five, Jim. So don't worry about it. I know you do. Matt Ravis has got <laughs> Nuggets in five games. And by the way, Jewel, they're gonna listen. It's amazing where the Lakers are. I mean, this turnaround is one of the most. I mean, it's impressive. But they're gonna have to beat the Nuggets and then probably Boston back to back. If they do that, we will all get on our knees and bow down to them. I mean, that's all you can do, right? That's all you can do. Yeah, meanwhile, really meanwhile, I'm sure Russell is showing some of his clothing somewhere, right? Probably in France or something. I just don't know, but it's regardless. It's gonna be a good game tonight. It's gonna be fun. Now let me ask you this: Are you have you fallen in love with Jokic like me? Are you like are you starting to get a little crush on him? You know what? I like him because of just how cool he is when he's interviewed. You know, I think so many NBA players just take themselves so seriously, you know, with mm -hmm. what they're wearing when they walk in and, you know, and just trying to be too cool for school every time they're interviewed. And he is just so down to earth and so chill and just so humble. I love that about him.
Matt, tell Julie about what he wants to do when the season's over. I think he just wants to go uh, play with his horses or watch his yes. horses. Watch people. Yes, horses. horses. Hey, hang on, hang on. I love that. I cannot Back. imagine him on a horse, and I feel sorry for that horse. But I also love horses. I so saw I him, it. Julie. I saw him. He had like a little chariot thing behind the horse, and he was riding on that. <laughs> That's funny. I'm gonna have to look that up. And he's got brothers. How many brothers does he have? Three. He's got at least two, two big old burly brothers. Yeah, he's, he's got like two brothers that are like big like him, Joel. <laughs> but seriously, can you imagine? He'd have to have a, a humongous horse to support that, that big oh, old I know. boy. I know it. Well, I listen. LeBron is one of the most amazing people I've ever seen in my life. I can't believe what he's doing at 38 years old. And, you know, Austin Reeves and from OU. I mean, they've got great stories out there. But, yeah, I'm letting everybody know I am cheering hard for the Denver Nuggets. Hard. Hard. Well, I'll be cheering with you. Now, sure. let me ask you a question, Julie. Have you taken your second yeah. pill today yet? Uh, I have not. I'm going to. Traber. I'm going to get you on were, that the minute I can. You were supposed to out. take it like an hour ago. You're right. I forgot. I'm going to go do that Do you that hear this, right Matt? Do you hear what I deal with? <laughs> <laughs> you are, I can hear it in your voice. You're not, you're and, disappointed. And then I get home and she's like, oh, my neck is all locked up. I'm like, yeah, you got to take your medicine. Julie, yeah. please take your medicine okay. when you hang up, please. The minute we hang up, I'm going to go take it, I promise. Okay. I don't know. I don't know if I, I don't know if I believe it, but I sure hope you do it. Okay. Well, let me tell you something, Jewel. There's a bunch of people praying for you. This has been a hard week for you. Can't imagine. Can you imagine yeah. that it? Tomorrow will be one week. It just doesn't seem like that. No, it's crazy. But I do appreciate the prayers and just that um, we can get back to normal fairly quickly would be fantastic. I sure it's hope really so. hard to keep up with a uh, two-year-old when your neck locks up on you. So I need to. Ooh. I need to start feeling better. I know it. That little boy was getting after it yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Julie, love you. See you in a while. Okay, love you. Bye, Matt. All right, feel better, Julie. Bye. Judge Julie, brought to you by Mr. Sparky. Time for an og &E break. It's storm season. Visit og &E .com slash storm prep for safety tips. I'm at Johnny's today. Johnny's Charcoal Broiler. Here uh, on Britain Road, the original. By the way, um, one of my friends sent me a uh, message, and this is what he said. He said, El Toro Forte Trebe. You know what that means, right? Strong bull Traber. Strong like bull. Hang on, buddy. You'll be all right. <laughs> I do have a hard head. There's no doubt about that. Um, I'll probably have to, I may have to post some of the pictures of the car. I don't know if I'm allowed to do that. I better, I better make sure I'm cool with, like, all the insurance and everything. So someday it'll all come out. All right, when we get back, phone calls, text messages, the rest of the hour. Let's fill it up, 405-900-9957. That's our lucky star line. Also, our trade pro eating text line, 405-900-9957. At Johnny's, this is the leader in sports, the animal. All right, give me a club. Score a driver a day in May. Presented by Michelob Ultra and powered by Windstar World Casino and Resort. Get all the info and register now at thesportsanimal.com and the Sports Animal app. This report is sponsored by Cox, bringing us closer. In today's highly connected world, you need reliable internet speed. Cox is ready for the future with their fastest internet yet. Cox multi-gig speeds are here with limited availability in select areas. It's internet built for tomorrow today. Learn more at Cox.com. Cox, bringing us closer. Oklahoma Men's Clinic, the leading provider of men's health and wellness in Oklahoma. Proud supporter of 98.1 FM, WWLS, the sports animal, and the afternoon sports beat with Jim Traber. Visit OKCMen.com or call 405-266-3000. You have nothing to lose and everything to gain. Hey, in the month of May, Oklahoma Men's Clinic wants to thank all first responders, active military, and veterans for your service. Oklahoma Men's Clinic is offering 50% off TriMed, their most effective ED treatment with 95% success rate. This month only, bring in your valid ID to receive this great offer. Call 405-266-3000 to find out more. That's 405-266-3000 or okcmen.com. Growing a business brings pressure. Staying compliant and retaining top talent in challenging times. You feel stretched thin. 
Unfortunately, there's Insperity. They put over 35 years of HR service and technology to work, offering my employees competitive benefit options while lightening my HR load. Engaged people empowered to be their best means overcoming obstacles. With Insperity, nothing seems impossible. Insperity, HR that makes a difference. Thanks for listening today. Now here's an oldie but a goodie for you. Truck to Bob, truck to story, got no carpet on the floor. More and more folks are finding out that Yadmar tractors truly are the best tractor you could buy. Free 10-year powertrain warranty, and for a few dollars more... You can get a lifetime warranty. Yamar tractors are made so well you can't only wear them out or tear them up on purpose. Our bad boy moors made in Arkansas are the best, period. Hey, Willie Nelson can't be wrong. Our customers have told us they think Yanmar is the Mercedes of tractors. With a Honda or Toyota price. And Tractor Bob's the number one Yanmar and bad boy deal in America for five years. Why? Because we really do treat you just like your mama. Except for that whooping part. And we certainly do trade for anything as long as it don't eat. Tractor Bob, best equipment, best deals. TractorBob.com. TractorBob.com. Call, click, or come by at I-240 in Shields or Northwest Highway just east of the turnpike. Don't forget about our Altos track mowers, our squad, and other fine equipment. Farming and ranching is more than what you do. It's who you are. At Oklahoma Farm Bureau Insurance, we understand when your livelihood is connected to your farm or ranch operations, you need insurance protection you can trust. Peace of mind we've been proudly offering for over 75 years. Oklahoma Farm Bureau Insurance, made of and made for Oklahomans. Visit OKFBinsurance.com today to find an agent near you. May is Military Appreciation Month, and Merritt Auto Group is honoring our troops with Operation Thank You. Through the 31st, a portion of proceeds from every vehicle sold will be donated to the John Daly Major Ed Heart of a Lion Foundation, providing mental, physical, and wellness support to our children, first responders, and veterans. Get more with Merritt. Five locations to serve you in Chickasha, Duncan, and Fairview. Online at MerrittAuto.com. Power on, Oklahoma! Do you want to know what's trending now? You can defer payments of a full NetSuite implementation for six months. No payments and no interest for six months. This is a big deal. NetSuite by Oracle has never made an offer like this in its 22 years as the leading cloud financial system. 33,000 companies have already upgraded to NetSuite, gaining visibility and control over their financials, inventory, HR, e-commerce, and more. Everything they need to reduce manual processes, boost efficiency, build forecasts, and increase productivity across every department. In fact, almost 90% of finance leaders agree that NetSuite helps them reduce manual data entry time. Whether your business generates millions or hundreds of millions of dollars, take advantage of this special financing offer of no payments or interest for six months at netsuite.com slash play. That's netsuite.com slash play. netsuite.com slash play. The Sports Animal Studios, powered by the OKC Thunder. Gear up for the season with the latest apparel and accessories at the Thunder Shop. Stop by the Thunder Shop at Paycom Center or online at okcthunder.com slash shop. We're back. Johnny Starko Brother. Oh, man. You know, I, I follow this uh, on Instagram, this umpire hate 101 have you heard have you ever heard of this uh no i'm gonna tell you it is unbelievable how many horrific calls umpires make uh, it's just so bad and i'll tell you what the one that they beat up the most on here is my man angel hernandez of course <laughs> he is so bad and they show some plays that you can't believe i mean they're so bad so bad um, pretty good stuff. It's called Umpire Hate 101. <laughs> and they just show over and over different ones. Different ones. Let's, uh, let's get a phone call. 405-900-9957. You're on the Sports Animal. Go ahead, please. Hey, Trey, it's Chuck. Chuck, how are you, bud? Ever since yesterday... We were uh, on an errand today. 
yesterday, today, and forever. You, from Lynn and I, have as many prayers as there are in every football stadium in America. We are thinking of you and Julie. I just listened to Judge Julie, and you're hanging in there. That's very, very special to, to us. And when I hang up and listen, the only thing about sports I'll say is last night was the first hockey game I saw. There's so many sports going on, it's almost an overload. Oh, I know. But that's not, that's not the purpose of this call. The purpose is our prayers. I've been there, done that. I even bought the T-shirt. I had a young, back in 1994, had a uh, 20, probably a teenager pulling in front of me. I've been there, and it's probably compared to a little lake to the ocean, what you and Julie went through. But you have our prayers. You have our love. You hang in there. And looking today, and like I've told you, every call practically, you say you've got the best wife in Oklahoma. I've got the best wife in Oklahoma. We're tied. What I'm going to do is hang up and listen and take the okay. radio lens in the other room. But you, Thank you, you too, we love you, and you get well, both of you. And uh, I'm going to hang up and listen. And, and, and every time – it's now, now even you've got all the people in the animal saying that Lynn's going to win the bets. But we well, love you will. and hang There's in no there. Doubt. See you, brother. Hang up. And Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Uh, 405, who's going to, I mean, uh, Matt, who, who's going to get these jobs? I mean, are these, are, do you think there's going to be anybody new to any of these jobs, or is it going to be just like regurgitation of people? There will be, the it'll be column A, column B. You'll see, like, Nick Nurse will get a job, right? Probably. Budenholzer will probably get a job. Um, probably. And then there will be some guys who come off of, uh, off of benches. How, how about... Why we talked about this early in the show, but I want to talk about it again with you. Why? Why does Jason Kidd still have a job? weren't weren't they one of the most dis, were they? Who was the most disappoint? Who was the most disappointing team in the entire league this year? It's, they had an argument for it. No, well, absolutely, they, they were involved. I mean, I guess New Orleans was involved too, but of course, their number one player doesn't play the entire year, basically almost. I don't. I mean, Dallas goes out and gets supposedly a star. I. They had to be the most disappointing team in the entire league, and these other teams are getting to like the semifinals and the first round, and they're firing their coaches, and Dallas is just cruising along. I. If I'm a Dallas Maverick fan, I just got like a big old question mark over my head. Well, I'm mad. I'm mad. Why do we have this coach? And everybody else is. I mean, we're going nowhere. We're spinning our tires. Here's the other thing, too, Matt. Don't you, if you're Mark Cuban, you, you see these coaches that you believe are good coaches like Budenholzer. I'm going to tell you, if I own that team, the, the second Budenholzer is, is, is fired, I call Jason Kidd and say, thanks a lot. And then I call Budenholzer and say, come down here. Don't you? Uh, no doubt. Is there anybody that's not related to Jason Kidd who thinks that Jason Kidd's a better coach than Budenholzer? I, I mean, I just, it's mind-boggling. Well, yeah, we, got a, we got a lot of Dallas Mav fans that listen to us, too. There's some good coaches out there. There's uh, there's Nurse, there's Vogel, there's Monty Williams again, there's uh, Budenholzer, there's Doc Rivers, there's Kenny Atkinson. You mentioned him. Now, yeah. if anybody hires Mike D'Antoni, then I'm going to scratch my head. Why, I, I mean, why would that be? I mean, that's, you're right. They might, though. They might. What do we got? Let's go text, man. We got a lot of text. Scott Brooks. No, I'm I'm just kidding. Scott Brooks. uh, He's out there. Scott Brooks. Beautiful. Uh, Can we had some people asking about the lottery? How can how does the format work? Why is it that they can only get those spots or the top four? Um, And and there were some other questions about that. We can we can answer that one first, though. Okay. Well, well, you're the best. This is how this is how they do it. They draw the top four, right? That's how they draw, and then everybody else goes according to standings. So that's how you're either 14th, 13th, 12th, or a top four pick. So when they go into the room, the very first card that they pull out is number one. I think it's number four. I think they go down. Number four. Okay. It, it may be number one. I, I'm not sure how exactly they do it, what order. And then after they pull those four, then they pull the rest. Right? Yeah, after they pull those four, then they just – they don't need to pull any more because everybody else just goes in order of their the standings, the opposite order oh, of standings. So can the Thunder? Here's a question for you: Can the Thunder be 14? Yeah, they can fall. They can fall down to 14. 
So how do they fall? What, uh, how would that happen? That 14 it's, will go to 12? It's a really, really, like, okay, so they have a 77% chance of getting 11, 13% chance per, uh, percent chance of getting 12. So, uh, no, they can't. I'm, I'm sorry, I misspoke. They can't fall down to 14. It's just 13, 12, 11. 13, 12, 11. Or 4, 3, 2, 1. Right? Oh, this, I, I forgot that they finished tied with the, with the Bulls. Oh, that's right. The so, they'll, they'll down. so let me rephrase that. Scratch that from the record. They have an 85% okay. chance of getting the 12th pick. They have a 13% chance of getting the 13th pick. Or I'm sorry, 6% chance of getting the 13th pick. And a 0.1% chance of getting top or, or getting 14. So the only way they get 14 is if they get jumped. You know. Right. And the only way they get jumped is if one of the 14 or 13 go in the top four. Two of them have to go in the top four, right? Two of them. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why that's it's why it's point one. one. Yeah. So more than likely they're going to come out of night with 12. Yeah. Almost can guarantee you. It's an 85 percent chance. Which is going to be a really really good pick. I mean, like we talked about, great. It could very well be Grady Dick. Who I think a lot of us like. Yeah. So I hope I didn't confuse anybody more than I actually helped there. But well, it's hard. They draw it, the, the whole thing four, is crazy. Everybody else goes in order of standings. So that's how that uh, that's how that goes. There was another one here. Um, oh, that's asking the same exact thing. So hopefully we uh, we answered your question there. Um, do you think Dallas is keeping Jason Kidd because he's a yes man to Mark Cuban? That's a good question. I don't I don't know. I don't really is Jason Kidd a yes man? I don't know. What do you think? Uh, I doubt it. I doubt it. Former player. Yeah, I... I think that when you think you might lose your job, you become a little bit more of a yes man, probably. <laughs> that's, that's right. That's but, right. um... Depends I don't on your know, job man. security. Mark, listen, Mark Cuban does not seem like the kind of guy that just wants people to listen to everything he says, or at least I didn't think so. Um... I don't know. Um... I... I know that he's had a lot of problems with his organization, right? They had, like, some sexual uh, uh, things and stuff, right? They got in some trouble. Yeah, yeah. So Workplace I don't know issues. if he's just yeah. concerned. You know, you always got to look at the deal, like, whether you like it or not. Jason Kidd is black. Uh, you know, if you if you were to fire him and hire a white dude, there might be people upset about that. I'm just throwing it out there. I'm not saying that's a reason, but there's a lot of things going on here. But I just, I just think Mark Cuban should come out. When you, if he fires Jason Kidd, all he's got to do is say, hey, we were the most disappointing team in the entire league this year. <laughs> I mean, I, we, we made a huge deal to bring in Kyrie Irvin, and it fell apart. So, I mean, I don't know how much more of an explanation you got to make, Matt, right? Right. No, that's exactly right. But it seems like he's not going anywhere. I mean, and this is, it's over, right? I mean, it, they're not going to, unless they do it now. We've got an anxious Thunder fan. They want to know, uh, with all the openings in the NBA, should we be worried about Dagnall leaving? Absolutely not. He is literally 110% in his job. He's not going anywhere. I'm not going to say that that doesn't happen forever. Let me tell you one thing about this organization, and I've said this before. They're as loyal. They're loyal to a fault. I mean, I thought they should have gotten rid of Scott Brooks at probably two years before they did. I thought that Billy Donovan was a terrible hire. This is all back then. I'm not saying it now. I said it back then. This organization is absurdly loyal. And remember, I, I said this before. I got the information from down in Florida. I don't know if you used to listen back then, Matt, but Billy Donovan, Sam Presti went down to scout some of those players that were on that, you know, Yak Noah and um, who were the other Horford ones on that was team? On that team. Oh. Horford. Who was the other one? The white kid that could shoot. Mike Miller. Wasn't it Mike Miller? Um, anyway, he went down there, and I guess him and Billy Donovan hit it off really big. As in, like, he would he would stop in there just to talk basketball with him in other years. So he loved him. He loved what he's all about. Brought him in as a coach. Ended up, I don't know, how would you say, what would you say about the Billy Donovan hire in Oklahoma City? What, what grade would you give that, oh, Matt? I mean, I don't, I, I, it sounds like you thought it was worse than I did. I, I give it like a, I don't know, a B, probably a B. Yeah, I'm not saying it was a D or an F. I just think they could have gotten a better coach. And remember, at that time, all I was talking about on the radio was, I think they needed to bring in somebody who had already coached in the league and had a lot of respect that could come in and say, Russell... This is the way we're going to do it. 
But Billy Donovan couldn't do that. When Billy Donovan got hired, Russell Westbrook said, okay, I'm going to run the organization. And he did. That's all I was saying. I, what I wanted him to do was I wanted him to call Mark Cuban and say, how much uh, for your coach? What do we got to give you for your coach? Um, but anyway, I thought probably I would have given it a C-plus higher. It wasn't terrible, but it certainly wasn't great. Um, but I don't know. Um, Dagnall, back to the question, Dagnall is 100% in. And he's going to be 100% in for a pretty long time, unless something ridiculous happens, which I don't think will. I think that, well, all you got to do is listen to Dagnall talk. I mean, he literally sounds exactly like Sam Presti. It's almost like they had like a class where they teach you how to talk like Sam Presti. Right, Matt? I mean, he's exactly the same, is he not? Yeah, no, I mean, there's no doubt that Presti hires guys who think like him. There's no doubt. And I might add, I think Daniel's a really good basketball guy. Really good. I think he's got incredible imagination with some of the things that he does. So I think Daniel's here for a long time. And they don't need a new coach. Thunder don't need a new coach. Now, three years from now, if they put everything together and they're not getting to where they'd like, well, then maybe there might be a change. But no problems with Daniel's job. None. You agree with that, right, Matt? 100%? Yeah, of course. Yeah, absolutely. And I think he should get a chance to coach this team whenever they're actually playing for something. I totally and they were, they were last year. They were last year. I totally agree. Totally agree. He definitely deserves a chance. I think he's a really, really... Matter of fact, I've already said, I said it the other day, or, I don't know, a month ago or whatever. I think he's the best coach that the Thunder have ever had. That's what I believe. I think he's the best coach that they've ever had. Time for an og &E break. It's storm season. Visit og &E .com slash storm prep for safety tips. I wish he would come on the air with me, but other than that, um, it would be fun to talk to him. Uh, I'm here today at Johnny's Charcoal Broil, the original on Britain Road. Uh, right now, they got uh, the Johnny's Reward app. If you search Johnny's Hamburgers free in your app store, you can get rewards simply for using. Also, the banquet room is incredible for spring parties, graduation. Just call to reserve that. Live music in the lounge every Thursday and Friday. Come on out. Johnny Charcoal Broiler. When we get back, more calls and text, and then the legend, Mr. Al Eshbeck, on the home of the thunder, the animal. Sports Morning, Sports morning. with Craig Humphreys. This is the biggest knee-jerk reaction of all time. Mike Budenholzer, he just got dumb at some point between the regular season when they had the best record in all of the NBA. you got to blame somebody. Let's fire the coach. And so they fire one of the best coaches in the NBA, Mike Budenholzer. Sports Morning, with Craig Humphreys. Weekday mornings, 9 to noon. On WWLS, the sports animal. Take the credit, you won't regret it. The IRS is rewarding business owners with free money for keeping workers during the pandemic and beyond through the employee retention credit. To qualify, call Travis Watkins Tax now, 405 451 3399. Plumbing problems? No worries. Call High Tech Plumbing for all your plumbing needs. Leaks, water heaters, showers, drains, and busted pipes. Call High Tech Plumbing at 340-2000. That's 340-2000. Or visit slableak.us. Guys, fellas, men, do you want a better sex life? Roman has genuine medication that helps you achieve and maintain what you need to perform. Roman has discreet wipes that help you last four times longer in bed. Roman has testosterone testing and treatment. Treating low testosterone can help revive your sex drive. So, men, what are you waiting for? For a better sex life, go to ro.co slash better sex. Do it today and get 20% off. That's R-O dot co slash better sex this is chip owner of adams family real estate i started my 999 dollar flat fee business in 2017 and quickly became the largest listing agent in the metro my process is quick efficient and saves our customers thousands of dollars my customers are thrilled with the results i love my job and i love the fact that i have helped over 900 families save eight million dollars in traditional listings all of that for now. Have to go. Okay.
See ya!